got a poem that I love about a winter storm. Would you be interested in doing that for us? I'm going to be a cowboy? I'm going to be a cowboy. Love that poem. Yeah, I will. That's great. I will. Um, you I guess I'll tell you how this come about. Um, it is not all fun and games out there on the ranch. And when my oldest son was barely a teenager, uh, we rode out into a raging blizzard during calving, and on that day I put his life at risk. I truly did. And it, it, it scared me bad. And it was a long time, uh, several months, before I could put pen to paper and get this poem started and, and get to writing it. And I'll tell you this, I'll never, I'll never forget the look on his face when we left the barn. Uh, I put him on my best old rope horse, CJ. And we, we rode out into that thing and um, his glasses were caked with ice. And he had his hat pulled down just as far as he could pull it down on his head. And at the time, I turned to him, and the way he looked, it kind of made me laugh. And I said, so you want to be a cowboy, huh? And he said, yes, I do, Dad. And we rode out into that thing. And that's the day that spawned this poem that's called, I'm going to be a cowboy. We were calving on the LT bar and snow began to fall. Hard wind from the east, no good. No protection there at all. No doubt we're needing moisture, but the calves weren't looking good. I figured if we saddled up, we could hold them like we should. Calves started chilling down and cows began to stray. I bed them down with one more stack so as maybe they would stay. Kyle had them horses caught and Rushed him all he could. For a boy only 13 years, my top hand's pretty good. Now I had two calves in the pickup, not just to save their ears. Dying calves don't suit me, and the chance of that was clear. Well, I met Kyle there at the barn, and we had ourselves an eye to eye. This here won't be easy, son. And this was his reply. Well, I know just what needs doing, Dad. You can bet on that. I'm going to be a cowboy. Then he pulled his hat down flat. I didn't want my son at risk, but was sure that's what I'd done. We couldn't see the barn no more. I feared the storm had won. There's two in the southwest corner. Can you bring them through the snow? I'll keep these from heading south, then... Meet you when you show. My cow settled by the trees, thank God. So I got off for just a spell. I still couldn't see him coming. Because this storm was now white hell. I knelt down to try to clear my head and get my bearings straight. I, I said to myself a prayer, I guess. Good Lord, I've sealed his fate. Well, now wait. Well, that's him. With a newborn on his saddle. Moving slow and easy so some mama not to rattle. Well, that calf was on his saddle, back legs tied just like I do. The cows are coming, Dad. I brought her like you showed me to. I wish great grandpa could have been with me. We'd have got them both. I know that other cow's a calf. We're wasting time. Let's go. Well, if she's had him, you just hand him up. Oh, CJ will buck the snow. I can bring the calf with me. You bring the cow real slow. Then we'll ride the rest of them. Make sure they're on the hay, because, damn, that's what I was born to do. Grandpa did it that way. Folks, I no longer had to wonder. As we rode south, I knew my top hand was a cowboy doing what he loved to do. Yeah.